ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best romantic comedy of 2020 so far. Okay, great. I am talking about Comet C2020 F3 Neo Wise, and that is exciting because it is an impressive comet. It is the most impressive comet that I have seen. Often, people are like, hey, Thor, where can I see it? And today, I'm letting you know. Tonight, if you go out, and you got to usually go out before dawn, because it's still pretty close to the sun relatively, that if you look over from Orion's shoulder, you will see Comet Neowise straight across. It is over in Taurus, and just above where the sun will be rising that day in the east, northeast. And it's by Aldebaran. And I guess if you can spot Venus this morning, then you just look to the west of Venus and you will be able to spot it if you're lucky enough with the clouds and the location. And Venus, being an awesome morning star, will do what it can to help you out. Because Venus is at maximum brightness, well, on the 10th. So if you can wake up before sunrise only once this month, Make it July 10th, because on Friday morning, Venus will be at its maximum brightness, which is a magnitude negative 4.7. That is 30 times B brighter than Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. And a bonus, Venus will be 2 degrees from red giant Aldebaran. And Comet Neowise is nearby too. And everybody's saying Comet Neowise is a really good comet. Well, congratulations for getting that B-plus grade. You get an A minus in my book, definitely. Comet Neo Wise is not yet a great comet. It is, however, really good. Rising just before sun, Neo Wise is visible to your naked eyes and has a tail at least five degrees long. Jeremy Perez sends his picture from Merriam Crater, east of Flagstaff, Arizona. So if you could see it in Arizona, I'm guessing you could see it in Texas. I will go out this morning if I'm awake. And try and find it. So you try and find it too. And then we're going to be like, oh man, that was cool. Or whatever adjectives and adverbs you'd like to use. On any given morning, this old cinder cone is perfect. That's what she said, said Perez. Catching it, sharing the horizon with this graceful comet gets kind of goosebumpy for me. Comet Neowise is currently shining as brightly as a second magnitude star, its core and part of its tail are easy naked eye objects from dark, clear skies. Framed by the colors of sunrise, it is arguably the most beautiful comet in many years. But the last truly great comet was Comet Hale Bob in 1997. I never really saw that, so that's why I put um, Comet Neowise ahead of it. And it had the, all I ever saw was the sneaker guy and the weird pe cult people. And so, I don't know, it, was, it seemed very weird. And it had negative connotations to it. But hopefully this will bring us some good luck. Because Lord knows 2020 needs it. So yeah, Venus will be your guide through the skies to find Neo Wise. This is the 10th, the morning that Venus is going to be super bright. And Comet Neo Wise is the west of Venus. And then on the 14th, if you can find the Big Dipper, you go south. And there will be Neo Wise in the sky just south of the Big Dipper on the 14th. So hopefully we can get a good look at it. The photos of it have been pretty amazing. Uh, this is Neo Wise with noctilucent clouds, which are like meteor smoke clouds, asterisk. I don't know. I want you to remember, comets are like magical, dirty cat dragon snowballs that are a mixture of a box of interstellar creature chocolates. So you never know what you're going to get. We're keeping an eye out for earthquakes, volcanoes, UFOs, pretty much anything. That would be weird. You know, that's what we do. Someone noted in the comments the other day that like, hey man, most comets are blue or red or green. And this comet seems orange. And I agree with that. You know, most of the photos I see of it give it an orangish tint. And so get yourself tinted and turned if that's what you're into. But, you know, the... The photography of this thing has been wonderful. And once again, I guess space weather is weather, so the 
WX Twitter's kicking butt again. But look at the outflow of the tail. That is so magnificent. And look at it with the clouds. It's neat, man. And it's getting closer to Earth. And that until the 24th of July, Neowise will be getting closer to us. As we are moving this direction, it will be moving this direction. And so technically we'll be getting closer to Earth. Like right now, it is at one astronomical unit, which is the distance of the sun to Earth. And as it moves through time, we'll be getting a little closer with Comet Neowise. I tried to do the get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. So you kids may not even understand that super awesome reference joke, which I guess is a failure on my part. But I think the 24th is the... Twenty-third moment of silence. That's right around the twenty-third, twenty-fourth is when it will be closest to Earth. And so, though it will be dimming as it gets farther away from the sun, um, it should be getting brighter, and it'll be the weird dimming brighter thing that will be happening as it gets closer to us. So, the photos may get more and more interesting throughout time. Well, I got you here talking about cool Comet stuff. Um, the big one that I'm excited about is Comet K2 Panstar. It found that thing way, way, way out. And it won't be reaching the closest point to Earth until let's figure this out together. You know, my, I mean, look at this. Dude, this comet is going to be pretty amazing. And we'll be doing what I, I'll be doing what I can to line up. Uh dates where it is closest or it has like gets close to earth orbit to see if we can find any earthquake connections and stuff but yeah this comet is they found it way out so it's going to be pretty big in my opinion so they found it like 8 au out and it will get as close as and 2022 will be when it gets closest to us and so this is going to be like a comet to watch in my opinion and I mean, it's huge, dude, and it'll be around the middle of 2022. It'll be here before you know it, and it'll be moving near Earth. So this one has potential to be impressive, and it, it seems like it's pretty big if they found it way, way out. And so, yeah, I guess we can say definitively that this comet is the Orange Kachina. So, yay, we found the Orange Kachina in 2020. Forgive me, I love Kachina jokes. Man, wouldn't it be cool one day when we get a space program that has space shuttles and stuff that we can send out our space shuttle? We'll be like, oh, we got a comet coming in. You guys go fly and get closer to it to get better photographs. Or if we just had like GoPro satellites, we could launch out towards it. That'd be neat. But yeah, we're at the tail end of a very deep solar minimum, which will be ending soon, asterisk, in my opinion. And so it's okay to be optimistic and hopeful again. You know, you can start to pick up your mood if, you would, if you'd like. Because Astro Fight Club is awesome and incredible. And the Astonishers are pretty good too. And please, baby, know that I appreciate you. And what better way to kick off a planet parade when all the planets are on the same side of the sun than a super cool orange comet against noctilucent clouds. Yay. Optimism, it's coming back. So please, everybody, stay cool. Have a great night. May God bless you and all of us. And I will stay on top of the story. And hopefully I'll make a cool edited video about it with all the intros and stuff that everybody loves. Because I love them too. All right. Talk to you all soon. And I will keep you guys updated. Peace out. And hit the button now. Hitting the button means enjoying life, having fun, and not letting the dickweeds get you down.